When you walk around London, you always come across amazing things if you look around you. And today we've got three of those for you. Now these are the original Salters Company, which was a great livery company in the city. And I'll tell you more about that in just one second. And these were their original gates to the actual hall that they had. And these gates were made in 1887 and survived bond damage during the war. Now, the original Salters Company was one of the grade 12 livery companies in the city of London, and they had a hall in the city for many centuries. They were licensed first in 1394, and the Salters Company had its origins in the salt trade of medieval London, and it ranked number 9 in the Order of Presidents. Now, due to it being an expensive commodity, it was also highly valued, and so the company was always an important one. The Salters Hall was originally on the north side of Cannon Street, and the name of Salters Hall Court, which is a turning off the north side of Cannon Street, is a reminder of where the hall once was. Now, the hall on that site was destroyed during the Second World War and not rebuilt, and from that time until the 1970s, the company had no hall at all. And the present hall, which is on the south side of Fourth Street, which dates back from 1976, and then when the hall was moved here, the gates which were moved because they had survived since 1887 were put in front of it. But now, if you look at them, you just think, what are they doing sitting there in the middle of nowhere? Our next place to show you, which is one of those little secret hideaways in London, is this place, St Swithin's Church Garden. Now, this is situated just off Cannon Street. Yes, the very busy Cannon Street in the middle of the city of London. And it overlooked this tiny raised garden was created at the site of the former church of St Swithin. Now, the church is believed to have existed here as early as the 11th century and was replaced, thanks largely to the generosity of the Lord Mayor, Sir John Hind, with a larger building in the early part of the 15th century. And it also featured one of the first towers built specifically for the task of hanging bells inside it. The church, like so many buildings around it, was among those destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1666. The church was then united with the parish of St Mary Bartho and was rebuilt to the designs of Christopher Wren between 1677 and 1688. It was later known as St Swithin, London Stone, thanks to the mysterious London Stone being built into the south wall of the church in the late 18th century. Now there's more on the stone on other videos which you'll be able to find on our site. But the church survived until World War II when it was damaged beyond repair during a bombing and was later destroyed. Here you can see the small service road which leads to the front of Cannon Street Station, so it is that close. But once again, this is one of these little hideaway places in London, a churchyard which is protected, and as you can see, you've got all the buildings surrounding it, right round the Cannon Street area. Okay, we go from Cannon Street to Wood Street in the heart of the city again. And it's interesting it's called Wood Street because we're here to look at a tree, of course, with wood. Now, we're looking at one of the oldest trees, if not the oldest tree in the city of London. Now, as you can see, the whole of the city of London has built up around this tree we're looking at right now. But it dates back to at least 1770, because in a poem written at that time by William Wordsworth, The Reverie of Poor Susan, the tree is mentioned in it. Now, this type of tree is an old plane tree, and it's been here for many years, and it's really hard to date how far back it goes. Although, as I've said, it does appear in one of William Wordsworth's poems. One thing that is interesting is that the tree is completely listed, so it is protected. But just look at that building in front of it. It can only go one story high, and that is part of the protection of the tree. There have been many different articles and poems and various other verse written about this tree, but one from the 1750s wrote, The plane tree at the corner of Wood Street, Cheapsides, stands in the now unused churchyard of St Peter. It has been a colony for rooks for more than a century, for the fact is mentioned by Goldsmith and his animated nature, and by Coleridge, and there is other great writers who have made London their homes. What's absolutely brilliant about the history of London is just so many historical things are just sitting there. You look at and you think, I wonder what that relates to. And then when you look back, it goes back absolute centuries. So I really hope you've enjoyed our video with these other three things that you can find just walking the streets of London and still there. Now, I've linked some more secrets of London up in the top right hand corner. So if you click on that, you can see even more secret things in London.